In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D mobile effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Droll here and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output and this is the original image. Okay, so to create this effect, first of all, let's go to File, go to Open and select this mobile image that you downloaded. I'm going to go and open it. Now first thing we're gonna do is remove the background so for that right click here and select your quick selection tool and make a selection of hand Once your selection is done go and click on this layer mask icon Now we also need to remove this portion inside the screen and also this tiny space between here Okay, so to remove that, uh, I would normally recommend using pen tool, but a lot of people are beginner here, so I'm gonna go and use my lasso tool. So right click here and select a polygon lasso tool, and then go and make the selection of the screen. But when you do it, make sure that you have selected this second option here, okay? So now go and start making selection, make a dot, a dot here, and then follow the edge. Once you are at the end of the selection, to finish it, just go and double click and it will make a selection. In the same way, I'm gonna go and try and make selection of this. And let's say if you're making a selection and you don't want this, you can simply press backspace or delete key to remove it. Okay, so selection is done and we also have layer mask. So I'm gonna go and select my brush tool here and make sure color is complete black and you're painting on layer mask and just simply go and remove it from here and also make sure that your opacity here that's 100% and to remove the selection go to select and deselect now I'm gonna crop the image a little bit so for that go and select your crop tool and here in the numbers go and add 1920 and here 1080 and here I have delete pixel turned off and after that to confirm your crop simply hit enter key uh, and then go and confirm it now let's align the image so for that press ctrl t uh, rotate it a little bit so phone is straight and then go and confirm it okay let's prepare the background so for that go and create new blank layer and this will go under your mobile select your paint bucket right click paint bucket and in the color go and select white color and fill it and after that right click on your layer and select blending options and here First thing, let's go and apply a pattern. So click on pattern overlay and here I'm using uh, where it is the green with fiber. And if you don't see these patterns, you can simply click on this little gear icon. Uh, and here you can go and select color paper and you can see all this. And for the name, make sure you have large list. So select the pattern. And for the opacity, I'm going to go and make it 62. And in the scale, I'm going to go and make it 85. After that, apply a gradient overlay. And in the gradient go and make it radial and make it reverse so it is outside and in the scale all the way 150 and in the opacity go and make it 57 and then go and hit ok so we have really nice background ready ok now let's add the road image and for that go to file uh, place and in the place go and select this image that you downloaded place it and first thing i will do is make it a little bit bigger so hold your shift key and make it big something like this and the road should be at the edge and do you see this corner here this it should be here so you don't have any problem with the alignment okay that looks fine now we need to fit the road inside the screen so for that I'm just simply gonna squeeze the image a little bit from one side and make sure that it fits And keep that in mind that in the layer panel this should be under your mobile after that we need to remove the outside area so for that first of all let's go and apply a layer mask after that get your polygon lasso tool and start making selection and again for the curved shape like this i will recommend using pen tool if you know how to use it but if you don't then this is your best option so i'm gonna go and start my selection from the edge of the road and start doing it and here you can simply just go and make the selection like this go outside and here keep it here
and here I'm just gonna go and make a selection here like this and then go and make it outside and in this type of situation if you want to zoom out use control minus so selection path would be something like this then double click and you have the selection after that get a brush tool and in the layer mask just simply go and erase it using black color and to remove the selection you can simply press ctrl d as well okay so road is ready now we need to erase this portion from the phone so for that i'm gonna go and activate layer mask of my phone here and then go and get your polygon lasso tool and start making selection now you will make selection where the road goes something like this and if you have a problem guessing it just simply reduce the opacity so you can see what is going on uh, like this okay so I'm, now i'm gonna go and make selection And after that you can again go back and make the opacity 100% and activate your layer mask and just like the background get your brush tool make sure black color uh, and then go and erase it like this and then remove the selection ctrl d and just like that the effect is done but the problem is that it looks way too simple so as a solution we're gonna add a subject for that go to file place and here I have PNG file of this model select it go and place it and then I'm gonna go and make her smaller hold your shift key while doing it and put her somewhere around here and we can also add lighting effect so for that go and create a new blank layer get your paint bucket tool right click paint bucket and in the color go and fill in black color after that go to filter render and here go and select lens flare I'm gonna go and select third one and put it in the center just like this and then go and hit ok after that go and change its blending mode to screen so we don't have black background then press ctrl t hold your shift key and make it really tiny something like this and adjust it here after that go and select your eraser tool from here right click make sure that hardness is 0% and then make it pretty big and then erase the edges also make sure opacity is 100% and then go and remove the edges like this and after that go to filter blur and gaussian blur don't apply too much just a little bit so i'm gonna go and keep it 2.3 hit ok and to add colors go to image adjustment uh, hue saturation colorize and add a little bit of color not too much So numbers are 16 and 43 then go and hit ok now since we have light let's add the shadow for that hold your control key and click on thumbnail of your model here exactly so you will have the selection then go and create a new blank layer and name it shadow after that go and get your paint bucket tool make sure color is black and fill it and remove the selection ctrl d after that go and press ctrl t right click and flip vertical so it looks something like this then go and try to match the legs and then rotate the shadow from the angle so it matches the light something i forgot in one of my tutorial and for more accuracy you can hold your control key and then go and put it something like this so it allows you it gives you more control over what you want to do so i'm going to go and try to keep it like this confirm it and this will go under your model so go and select the shadow and put it under your model here and then go and try to align it properly and after that in the opacity go and make it 60% uh, and then go to filter blur gaussian blur and apply maybe one or two pixel of blur not too much let's try to looks good hit ok and after that go and create new adjustment layer and select hue saturation and this will go on top of your model here and then go and turn on your clipping mask so it will only affect the model and then reduce the lightness to minus 30 like this then go and close it and after that we're gonna go and remove this effect from the edge so select your brush tool make sure it's black color make it smaller and then go and erase it from here paint on layer mask here
the effect is done now let's do some overall color effects so for that the effect is done now let's do some overall color correction so for that first thing i would like to do is go to adjustments and select brightness and contrast and this will go on top of everything and then go and make it a little bit brighter not too much so i think uh, let's try 13 looks good close it and after that create another adjustment layer and select curves and this time go to your adjustments and then go and add a little bit of blues and then add a little bit of yellow not too much that's perfect then go and close it and this is the final effect and the best part is that you can play around a lot like i used a road but you can use railway tracks you can use a really big tunnel you can also do it opposite like something is coming out of mobile so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below if you are new here and want to check out more videos by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also click on that subscribe button so every time i upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where i have tons of photoshop tutorials waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop